Hello, hello, hello. It's Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal and Mindless Crafting. And guess what we're doing today? We're live making a gift basket. But I wanted to show you all of the stuff that we got at Dollar Tree yesterday. For those of you that did not watch the live, um, yesterday we went to Dollar Tree and we got some things. Uh, these baskets are not included in the, at Dollar Tree, but we showed some containers. So I'll post that video below in the description for you. And um, let's see who's here. We have Danny. Hey, Danny. And Margie. Oh, yeah. Hey, Margie. Y'all are on time. Margie says she's ready. Okay. Me too. I am ready to create. Crystal Talbert is here. Hey, Crystal. How are you? Stacy Spencer. Hey, Stacy. Mary Broad is here. Mary. Christy yeah. Boston. Pat Jones. Good to see all of you. Yvette Daniels. I should have known. Hey, Shay Johnson. Yvette. Kathy Lake. So I'm going to open up some of the stuff that I have here right now. And then we're going to go ahead and break this thing down to show you what you need to do to pull off an awesome basket. So what I have right here is, Bill, if you would... Um, I'm going to come on this side. Come right in here. I want to do this like this. Okay, on this side, you have the stuff that you need to wrap up and decorate the basket. It just makes things a lot simpler. Over on this side, well, we're going to move this over here. No, 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 we got a little right now, here. like this. Right, so on this side, we've got all of the stuff that you can put in your basket. All of this stuff is not going to fit in the baskets that I have here, but we're going to use some of this stuff to pull together a nice basket. Um, so yesterday when we went to Dollar Tree, just to kind of reiterate, we got napkins. It's going to be kind of a tea coffee basket. So it depends on what people like. And this is going to go to some someone in the community. Um, it could it probably could go to our uh, local library post office because they do such a good job at all the packages you know and so I thought it would be nice to pull together something that would be fun and easy they could snack on so we got some candies right we got cookies peanut brittle yeah and all this is from Dollar Tree got some Oreo cookies got crackers things they could snack on while they're kind of still have to work and get stuff done. Just a nice thing to say thank you. We appreciate you. Got these Russell Stover coconut candies. Got some caramel. Uh, so I talked about the, um, the items that you can put in the basket. Boxes fit very well in baskets. Okay. So we got the Swiss Miss chocolate packets, right? So hot for hot cocoa. We got the tea. Um, and we got these cute little individual size tasters choice. Bill and I love these because you can make your individual coffee, right? So your individual cups of coffee. We got some for the character. Seems like everyone loves the character. So we got some of those. Ariel loves those. Yeah. And that's, that's actually hot cocoa. These taste really good. We don't, me and Bill don't do those anymore. Hmm. And you got, <laughs> you got the little, uh, the cappuccino. So that's another thing you can do, the mocha cappuccino, all the things that make you feel warm and fuzzy inside. And then you got the fudge stripe minis. Okay, and mate, I don't know how these guys- Oh, I needed those. Look, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how these guys in the car yesterday. I needed those. Yeah, so anyway, this, this would be great though for a basket. Right, but in this case, yeah, I Bill's need gonna these. Take those, so take those away, Bill, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and break this thing down. Let me show you what you need to do first. Let's decide what we're going to put in the basket. Nicole Peter says, hello, the gift baskets are what won me over with you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So maybe you're going to do a coffee basket. You want to use the cups, right? These individual cups are at Dollar Tree. And Bill and I have used these sometimes when we're, when we're on the go. Um, I think these will be cute for maybe like an office gift, right? So if you don't want to do like what, a gift for each person at the office, just throw together a nice basket so everyone can, can kind of snack during the holidays. Because snacking is fun. Okay, so you got the cups. You have this. Say you have some coffee lovers at the job. Creamer, right? 
You can put these together. Let's see. Let's let's slip in some of the cookies here. Individual packs of cookies. So I kind of fit my basket before I start putting my shred and stuff in. Okay. So now this, me looking at this right now. Let's take this out. You can put this on its side. So you want to kind of test this out a little bit. Right? Let's put this this way. And I like to make the label space this way, kind of, right? And everything what way? is going to fit outside. Let me see. Showing outside. Oh, the label's turn. fitting yeah. outside. Okay. Oh, upside down. Maybe throw in the creamer. But see, now I haven't put my shred in yet. So I'm just kind of fitting the basket to see. Hmm, let's go ahead and readjust a little bit. Maybe you can slip something else in there. Maybe put the creamer on this side, the individual cups. Now, at some point, you may say, okay, this basket is good, right? Now you get another basket and start to build. Maybe start with the taller things on the inside and put the smaller things in. I usually like to build it from the, from the big stuff to the small stuff. And I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of rusty. <laughs> Put the cute little holiday napkins in there, right? Get the coffee. So look, you, you almost have enough for like maybe three baskets. So I'm putting this in so I can see the fitting first before I start putting in my other stuff. Because you got to put your shred and stuff in there too. So see how those are starting to fit real close. And then maybe you got the stirrers also. You can put those in, right? And let's see, maybe some tea, but look. That's the second basket, right? And now you're going to do possibly a third basket. Or, or for the more adventurous, you could have got a huge basket and right threw them all in. Huh? You could, or you could do three baskets for each organization, right? Well, we, we actually use two post office around here, so <laughs> this will be great. I think they would appreciate something like this. Got your tea. Uh, April Camacho says, where do you get the baskets? The baskets, actually, these are Goodwill baskets, thrift store baskets. Look, when you go into Goodwill or, um, or thrift store, look in the area. They have some really good sturdy baskets that were possibly used only one time. Make sure you check out the bottom of the basket to make sure it's sturdy. Make sure it looks nice and clean, almost new. You will find a ton of baskets. Susan Stewart's laughing. She says, you need bigger baskets. You can do bigger baskets. You can. Susan, we used to have baskets so big, it was it was ridiculous. I think I have a couple, a couple of big baskets I, I upstairs. Think... But I want to show y'all that you can still make three baskets. I think we spent maybe about, what? Each, uh, each we basket. We spent that much at, at Dollar Tree yesterday. And now you got three gifts. For under like, I think it was twenty five dollars. It was about twenty five dollars. Yeah. And the baskets were probably like about a dollar thirty three or something like that at at. Uh, yeah, they were like at Goodwill maybe about two dollars. Yeah, yeah, it hardly costs anything. And they have they hardly any use. Okay, so look at that. Now I still have stuff that's outside the basket. Hi, Donna. Donna says Tracy, one basket would have been enough for me. How thoughtful of you. <laughs> I'm just seeing how many baskets I could create. So with just those few things, we can create three baskets. So y'all still, any questions, babe? Any, okay, let me look at some any questions. Let me say one thing. Now, don't be surprised by the size of these baskets. They may look like they're small, but by the time uh, Tracy gets done implementing some of the techniques she's going to show you, they're going to look so just incredible, larger than life. Bill, you set me up there, okay? <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out, right? Let's go ahead and take these out for this basket. Lynette Hansen says, I love the gift baskets. They're so amazing. And you know what, Lynette? It doesn't have to take a whole lot. I don't want y'all to go broke trying to create these baskets. Um, I just don't. I just want y'all to keep it simple, you know? Keep it simple. You're gonna, whoever gets it is going to appreciate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up one of the baskets. Let me show you what I start with. 
these are the inner parts, right? We can, we have the shred from Dollar Tree, so let me show you how I put the shred in. Y'all are seeing this live. Cajun Sunshine is on here. She says, gift baskets, hey, yay. Yeah. Okay, now, one of the things I like to do also, you see how that shred is like in the basket? So let me come closer of, so I can really show them this. And it's not like, um, the shred is, is kind of like in there. You can't really see it. Here's what you can do. You see the outside of this even, right? You can tuck this underneath it to give the basket more height, right? Now, if you want to use red, you can, but this this will this will cover it up. So, get, so it looks like you're putting that... Uh, Paper underneath yeah. the tree. Yeah, I can it? use the outside of the paper underneath to give height. This is Dollar Tree stuff, so this costs a dollar. Sometimes I put newspaper underneath it, just so that everything is. And sometimes, you know what? It looks nice when you put the paper inside of the basket. By doing it like that, you don't have to buy an excessive amount of tree. Huh? Right, right. You're just giving your basket more height, making it look nice. Look at that. Okay. So even with the gift tissue, it looks good. Here's another gift tissue right here. I'm going to open this because I think I may tie in a little bit of this gift tissue on here. Any questions, baby? Susan Stewart is selling carried it. You can add coffee cups of hot chocolate and chocolate bars with peppermint candy. Yes, you can. And you can use the cup itself for a mini basket. You sure can. Tracy's done there that you go. also. There you go. <coughs> That's thinking. And you can use and make a and then put the top on with whatever you want to put inside of the cup. So you can put little, you know, candies, chocolate kisses. Ooh, Valentine's Day idea, right? With that being said, Donna Sadley's finally, finally finished moving. Oh my goodness. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Hey, Donna, how are you? Congratulations. I know, right? So some of this now can be used as filler for your basket to make it really, really pop. We're going to add that in a little bit later, but I'm going to cut it up, right? I'm going to cut this stuff up. And the reason why I'm cutting it because this is a this is a smaller basket, and I can kind of tuck little things in where there might be space. D. Chamber says I want to do a gift basket for a uh, young man's a uh, young man's first apartment. I want to do a laundry basket full of household supplies. Oh, that's a good one. And need filler to make the laundry look fuller. Um, Does she really oh, need filler? Asking. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, you can use towels, all kind of stuff you in that thing. You, that's a good one, babe. You, you could yeah. use towels. Yep. So you, you don't have to think, think, think a little. Don't think you have to have shred per se. You can use other items that they're going to need anyway. And let okay. that serve the purpose. Now we're going to put our basket together. I'm going to tuck this right in here. All right. Let me look and show what, that, what you're doing there. So I'm just tucking this in. And a lot of people use glue dots. I don't really use glue dots um, for my baskets, but a lot of people do. One thing Tr Tracy does, and she, I know she mentioned it, but I really have to reiterate this. She always has those labels facing out. And if you're not conscious of that, you don't really realize the effect this has on the, on the, on the gift basket at the end. It looks so incredible. And they can see everything right through that, uh, that, uh, that wrap. Bill, I should have you do a basket. No, I just like the look. I, I know what I like to see. Uh, uh, no, look, he's like, no. I know what I know the effect it has on me. There you go, babe. Okay, let's see. Oh, oh Susan Stewart says yeah. if you have a paper shredding machine, you can use it to shred your paper. You sure can. You sure can. That's a great idea. There you go. Maybe shred some up of your bills and just tuck them in your basket. Hold up. Right? Some of the uh like for Christmas, when you guys get Chris Christmas gifts. Get all that Christmas paper instead of throwing it away, throw it in the shred. There you go. Oh, have a holly jolly Christmas, right? Dollar Tree napkins. Tuck those in there too. D says that's a great idea about the towels. That's a good idea. That'll lift it up. Yeah. That'll give it a nice... I've seen those baskets. Look on Pinterest too. And some of those towels, I've, you could actually fold them in a certain way 
and have them hanging along the out, outer edges of the basket too. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you have little spots here and you want your basket to really be tight, tight. So I took out the cappuccino and what I did was I put in uh, cookies, um, uh, straight it out for these cookies right here, okay? So now what you can do is you got little empty spaces here. Okay, let me show the little spaces. These empty spaces yep. right here. There you go. Take these now, right? And just kind of tuck it in there, right? Now you're making it look a little bit more festive. And I'm a little bit rusty also. Oh, you're Usually not rusty. Usually I can do a basket very quickly. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> For a hundred year old. Then, I don't think so. You know, <laughs> haven't been doing a basket 10,000 years from now. So I hope y'all are getting some ideas here. I love making baskets though. I do miss it. Now that, now that I'm actually doing it, I miss making it. You're right. Susan Stewart is what telling is? D. Chambers, don't forget washcloths. You can that get those in the dollar store. That's nice. Tuck it in like that. All right. Even the red would look cute in here, but this looks nice. I've been into patterns, y'all. I've been into the buffalo check. Hounds too. <laughs> That's what Swash I call it. Hounds too. I don't know what you really call it, but it's in my mind. Okay. Now, if you want to, to take some candy canes, you can take them out individually and tuck them in different spots. You can open up some of the candies like these over here, right, Bill? These right here, the candies. That are in this uh, container. Take some of the little individual lifesavers. Ooh, lifesavers would be good for the fire department, babe. Right. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. The, and then put the lifesavers in there. And so. make that, or you could put the main thing, it's the main thing, lifesavers. There you go. Now, if you want, you can put flowers in here, depending on who the basket is for. So now you can put more stuff in there. And let me see my wire cutter here. All right. And so I just kind of cut just a little bit off there, and now I can tuck that in right there, those little empty spaces. And if you're thinking of a color scheme, she obviously is blending in at the color of this, the color of this. Right. You'll see how it works out. And so I just kind of tuck it in just to add a little bit into the basket. I've never seen these flowers at Dollar Tree. Never really seen those. So let's go ahead and put some of those in there. Hi, Joanne Gilbertson. Joanne Gilbertson, she made it, yay! Cajun, you're right. She says, don't forget to check uh, your local Goodwill and uh, Habitat for Humanity for baskets. They always have them. They're yes, very inexpensive. Good, goodwill, yes. And sure. you're helping out a good cause. There you go. Matter of fact, you can check out almost any sort of mission. See, I'm tucking, tucking some of these in some of these little spots. You can use the glue dots. They do have glue dots at Dollar Tree, and you just kind of tack them on here. And so that'll keep your basket still, but I'm trying to really pack this thing in. Those blue dots are amazing for, yeah, for doing are. that. Because oftentimes you think that your, your packages are really loose, but those glue dots really yep. tighten that up for you. Someone says uh, any junk shop. Oh, Susan Sewer says you can find them at junk shops also. Don't have me going up in there. I'm trying not to, um, I think back in the day I had a lot of baskets. Oh my goodness. You yeah. had at least about, at all lot. times, at least 10 or 12 of them. I had a lot of baskets. But they were going out fast too. Okay, so now you've got this put together, right? You haven't, we haven't even done um, anything yet with it as far as wrapping it up. This is going to somehow go on the front of the basket too. We'll see how that works out. Oftentimes, we go on gift basket sites. This is what you see. It looks just like this, and you'll say, Whoa, look at that gift basket. It does look pretty cute, too. Right, but we're not going to stop there. Look, Bill's like, We're not going to stop there. We're going to keep on That's going. the beginning point. Okay, so a lot of you uh, are sometimes having the little challenges. Tammy Sexton says she made 15 gift baskets. Tammy Sexton has been on it with those gift baskets. She's been posting them. Oh, I mean, she Tammy did, is a beast. She baked okay. some stuff, Bill. And thank you, Tammy, for the recipe, um, the peanut brittle recipe. Okay. Ooh, that peanut brittle. Oh, Tammy needs to put her channel. Um, Tammy Sexton has an awesome uh, channel. 
got to watch a few of your videos. Um, hopefully I can watch some more. Tammy has her channel. Tammy, if you can um, drop the link to your channel somewhere in there, y'all go support Tammy. Support Tammy's channel. She has a wonderful crafting channel. We have some really talented people. Um, and so, yeah, I just want to shout out uh, to Tammy. She's got her channel. And uh, she started, I don't even know how, it's only been a few months maybe. I'm not sure, uh, Tammy. I think Kathy Champion is coming up on what, 500 subscribers? Yeah, Kathy is not going to do her 500. Yeah, she's coming up on 500. I'm watching y'all. So those of you that haven't uh, checked out Kathy Champion or maybe subscribed to her, go and check her out. Yeah. She's doing some amazing videos. Right, so drop that link in there too. Okay, so I'm just using some of that sparkly paper, Dollar Tree, once again. And I was like, mm, it needs a little bit more sparkle in it. And you'll be able to tell. I'm going to tuck some in here. Right? So for you blingers, that'll satisfy the bling in you. Right. Just tuck a little bit in there. It's all about tucking in those little spots. And, Don't and let anyone tell you that gift basket making is difficult. And it's it all about not. color. It's all about color, too, in presentation. So, yeah, yeah. But it's going to look fun and super... Super amazing. Oh, that one looks kind of janky though. Not with that in there, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put this over here. Just tucking it in. Just like that. Don't want to cover up my flower. Right? It's all about packaging. Some people don't care what's in the basket. Once they see the basket, they're like, oh my goodness. And then once they get past um what's the outside looks like then now you have the inside okay so let's talk about this this is the cellophane uh, wrap from dollar tree this is let's let me make sure what, that i know this is what the measurements 30 inches by 96 inches this is a really big one i remember they sold them at hobby lobby or michael's the really long ones i haven't seen those at dollar tree but you get this for a dollar Okay, but the really large one, if you're doing a huge basket, then you might want to go ahead and check out um, Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Kay Pat from Cajun uh, Sunshine Crafts, you know, she just got back from her uh, a medical journey. She was saying that's why she's kind of been absent. Oh, man. She's been losing subs because of that, but they'll be back. Oh, no, no, no. And you're going to be getting some new people. you got to go right to... Um, the Cajun Sunshine Crafts. Cajun Sunshine Crafts. She does some awesome stuff with, I'm sorry, I'm just cleaning up some of this area, y'all. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of questions about like drawing, blending, yes, coloring. coloring. If you want to see some techniques. Amazing. And it's calming too. She's so fun during her live. If you want to see some techniques very well, clearly, concisely uh, explained in a way for just dummy fied down for people like me who need to really hear it straight out. <laughs> go to Cajun Sunshine Crafts. Crafts. She really breaks it down. She makes some beautiful, beautiful yeah. images. Y'all go ahead and, and, and hit her up. That'd be great. Okay, so here's what you do. I mean, I, now I got to stand up because here's what you do. What do you do, Tracy? When you're trying to measure out, you got to come right here. Baby. Okay, okay, okay. So you can see. Okay, so. You want to make sure that your basket is centered, right? And so you want to put your basket here, right? This is the front and the back or vice versa. We're going to put bows on each side so you're not really going to be able to tell. And so you see how that comes up short? Okay, let me turn like this so you can see. I need something to come up further above the top. This is too short. So I like to have it come up at least about about this height, which is maybe about four inches, four or five inches maybe. So basically. the top of this, because I want to make sure I have something to fan out. It's better to go longer than shorter. Right. So if you're not sure, because you can always cut it down and I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, that. always err on the side of make, having too much than not enough. Okay, so once I get this like up here, and you probably see this in some of my gift basket videos, I let that go and then I cut this off. Right up here. Be very careful. With oh, the hold cutting. up. Wait, let me come on this side so I can see. Be very careful with the cutting, right? 
because this stuff right here, this cellophane, y'all are seeing the bird's eye view, right? <laughs> this cellophane is very delicate. So just take your time, right? So once you're done with that, you'll start to wrap this up. Okay. Okay, now, when you're doing this part right here, you see how that looks? Okay, what, so what are you doing? Okay, so you got both of these up here like this. You could start bringing this together. So you're grabbing both sides. Yep, just grabbing it. Be very gentle with it. All right. Bringing it over the top. Don't rush it. Any questions on this part? Sometimes people have questions on this. Pretty straightforward. Once she pulls it up, she right. just very careful. Just kind of pulling it together until it looks neat for me, because I, I like it to look. I, it's got to look neat. Okay. Hi, Kathy Champion just came on. Hey, Kathy. Champion. You're late, Kathy. We just so sent everyone to your channel. Okay, so it's got to look nice and tight, right? It looks got to look neat. So all I'm doing is I'm just pulling it up. Pulling it up. Oh, think about it. Y'all made me miss basket, making baskets. Like I told you. Now, here I would do a rubber band, but I got to improvise because I don't have one right now. <laughs> okay. We're up in the craft room. Okay, so now you gathered it and you're holding it. Right. Now, normally most people would cut this, but it's live, right? Okay. This stuff is from Dollar Tree. This is the, um, what's this stuff called? Like that twirling ribbon. Rhonda Armstrong says that's the problem. She either cuts it too short or she tears it. So Rhonda, the thing Hi. is, always make it too long. Yep, make it long. Make it long. Look how far this goes over the top of this basket from here to here. It's taller right. than my and hand. I'm gonna show you how to cut that down in a moment. Yeah. Market. Yeah, we just at home on a Saturday with all of you doing a live basket. You might hear the doorbell ring. You might hear the phone ring. It's just part of what we do, right? It's called YouTube. You just gotta be you. That's it. I think YouTube get, even but forgets I, that sometimes. I get to spend the day with y'all. Is that right? Nice? I get to spend the day with y'all, just kind of doing our thing. Now, normally you can rubber band this off and then tie it. Now I'm gonna come right here by your right. hands so they can really see what's See, happening. I'm holding it. Don't worry about these parts. Some people will stress about this. We're going to fix that. Yeah, don't worry about this don't part flaring out. Don't worry about this out. part flaring out. Don't worry about that. So let me make sure y'all can see this. So all I'm doing, I'm just tying it one hand. You can rubber band it off and then tie it. Right? You can just take a rubber band, pull it over the top and tie it. I'm taking a shortcut here. She's using the one hand tie technique. Right. I know, right? <laughs> For those of you who have grandkids or kids or someone around the house, victims... Well, the they rubber band will help, help you pull, it. pull this tight while you tie it off, but I'm just... Put your husband's in action. Right. Hold on, let me okay. show that. She's, right, so I'm just tying it, that. and I'm going to turn, pull it around here. Don't pull this stuff too tight because then you might mess up your... Uh, you might rip it. So you it breaks. Put it one break. around the front. Yeah, tie it. You can bring it around again. Tie it. It's up to you. So now it's pretty tight now, huh? Right. So now we got to work on these two parts. Um, just show them that because I forgot my tape. Now can y'all see what she did? Okay. Yes, Cajun says this one had the hand tie technique. That's the hand tie technique. Now while she's gone, let me say something. Now let's say hypothetically, if you would go through the next, maybe the next part of the, with the, what it would seem to be the obvious process and kind of tape this part off, tape the sides off, Cut that somewhat. You would think you were done because I can't tell you how many times I've gone in large stores, large department stores, uh, Macy's, Sears, whatever, brand name places where they're charging an awful lot for these gift baskets. And they finish right here. They have a tie thing and they, and they slap a big ticket on there. And those things are running out of the door. They can't keep them in there. Now, I only say that because I want you to see the next part of the gift of this gift basket process because this is what makes it so exciting. Oh really? This is when you get to really individualize 
your crafting skills and harness your imagination and create something that no one has ever seen. In fact, creating gift baskets often so beautiful that the people won't even want to open them. They're going to want to open this because it's got some chocolate inside. So you're going to want to open this. People, there, <laughs> we know people that will reach through the sides and try to pull the candies out and stuff like that because they don't want to break the basket. There you go. Are you done, Ben? Yes, I'm done. You're back okay. now. All right, so you got these two sides sticking out, right? No worries. I'm going to show you how to camouflage that. You see this tape right here? Hey. This tape, the packaging tape. I think they have this at Dollar Tree, too. They do. Yeah, the packaging tape. It's clear, right? And I'm going to go right here. All you have to do now is take this, right? Are you twisting it? I'm just turning, twirling it around, and then you're going to take this right here and tape it just like that. Right? Okay, so look at that tape seam right down. there. You can't even really see it. You can't see it because it's all the stuff in the basket is just kind of hiding it. So I'm just taking this. I haven't even decided which part is but the front and you, which part is the back of the basket. Before you did that, you, you could even sit this little cat. You know what I mean? If you want to, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to tie him to the front. Okay. Okay, so I'm just taking a small piece of tape, right? Going like this, like this, like this. Hold this down, right? And just tuck the tape Voila. over there, like that. Okay. Right? Now, if that's like bothering you right here, which it's bothering me, I'll just take another small piece of tape. Pat says, yes, genius. No one's going to see that. No one's going to see You're that. right. Rhonda Armstrong Strong says... Some of the places that we talked about, and, and so even other places, they're charging anywhere from 50 to over $100 for those baskets. Yep. Okay, so now here's what we got here. You see all of this? Mm -mm. Can't do that, right? So you want to take this, right, now that it's just nice and pulled up over the top. And you're going to cut up this way, right? And then I'm going to just turn this around, cut on the other side too. And, and then an on angle. the other side, cut on an angle going up on that side. And then you got that fanned out look. You ever see that look on some of the baskets? Now, a lot of you could stop right there if you want to. And you know what? Some places have stopped right here, and I feel like bringing a bow. They're right in the store <laughs> and start and operating they, on them. They'd be like, who is that crazy? crazy <laughs> Trying to do something to the basket, right? So now you've got it all wrapped up. So now it's time for your bow. Y'all, look what kind of She ribbon. found the houndstooth bow. It's not houndstooth. Well, whatever it's called, she found it, okay? Can you tell I'm addicted to this? This was at, um, this Trace has been Dollar buying this stuff up. Pajamas, all kind of stuff, okay? <sighs> Scarves, pillows. Buffalo check. This year it's buffalo check. Buffalo right? ribbon. So let's see. Now, I need to really get where y'all can see this technique. I don't even know what technique it's going to be right now. <laughs> now, see. for those of you who need more detailed instruction, just go to the videos that Tracy has on how to make a bow or mm -hmm. how to make a gift basket, that sort of thing. But How to make a bow. Yeah, there's several of the gift basket videos actually have it in there, too. Um, let's see. Is it a zero okay. in? So let's take some of this. Karen says, right? it was an amazing job. Karen, she's not done yet. I'm going to, yeah, we got to fix up the bow now. And then we got to get this guy on here, too. Yeah, we're only halfway there. Has. Oh, let me cut this off right here. Now cut his arm off. Y'all be over here talking about <laughs> Tracy done. Desiree, Desiree Burton says, I love hounds, too. Hounds, too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> Buffalo check. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and make a bow, right? So for this size basket, I always kind of look and see so that the, the bow is not too overwhelming, right? This size basket, you want to do a bow maybe like this, right? Let me show you one of the bows I did uh, do. Hopefully it's not all wrinkled up. Oh, here's one of the bows. So if you want to have that little blinged out bow, right? And blingify that baby, okay? nice and like sparkly you can do this this is just another bow you can actually use made. that and put it on you know yep this is just another bow if you I wanted to yeah done. 
So I can, yeah, I could take that bowl and decorate the house, huh? No, I'm saying oh. I could, the double bowl. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. You can make a double bowl. All right, now I'm watching this. I got my zero in. Okay, so both of the nice thing about this that makes it really easy, you want to have your chenille stem or whatever, is that this bow, um, both sides, either side, you're good, right? So I'm just kind of folding it under, folding it under and pinching, folding it under, pinching. And I'm making all of my bows kind of the same. Usually it's like a twist technique, but I don't have to twist on this. And the reason why I don't have to twist is because to me, I have both sides are exactly the same. So if you have like a bow that has like, it looks uh, plain on one side, but this is a double-sided bow, so we're good to go. And it's wire ribbon, so it's very forgiving. So how many loops do you one, do? One, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll see. Do you try to do the whole roll? Um, we'll see. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Oh, you just do it till you, you, you till you're satisfied. Exactly. Do it till you're satisfied. So let's see. So there you go. And like that, right? There you go. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ooh, you know what? It's okay. No one's going to okay, say. Hold on. Let me come over here. No one's going to say, hey, Tracy. So what is that you have with the middle? The chenille stem. Okay. And then you're going to take this, right? Just make sure it's centered. Can y'all see what she's doing? Okay. Right, take this and you start to twist. Twist the bow, not the uh, chenille stem. It'll make it easier on you. All right, twist, twist. This is a cute little, I need to go find some more of this. Okay, so now you're gonna fluff it up, right? This is the center part here. And let me get a couple more twists in there. Okay, so this is the center part here. I'm going to take this and fluff it out. Fluff it. I think it needs one on this side. It needs one on this side. Don't stress y'all. It looks like out you're twisting the entire bones. bowl that's coming out. Is that what you're doing? No, I'm just fluffing it. Okay. Okay. But I love Lynch says, where did you get that ribbon? I need some. This was um Dollar General. And it was two dollars. I don't know why they call it Dollar General. To mess with your mind. I know, but they had these. No one was there. And I was like, what? Let me go get some of this Buffalo check. I was gonna call it. <laughs> yeah, you know what okay. Kathy says, call that thing Buffalo Plaid. <laughs> <laughs> buffalo check, Buffalo Plaid. <laughs> okay. So now you got your bow, right? And now we're ready to add it on. Okay, so I'm going to cut this off right well, here. Well, you what off? Cutting okay. my little chenille stuff because I twisted it enough. It's it's on there. So you cut it pretty deeply. Yeah, and it's pretty. So hold the finished product there. up with to see where the, how deep that cut came. Oh, it's right here. So I'm just going to tuck these little edges in. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, so now we can actually tie it onto our basket. Another question you, you, that, you, look, you're going to get, okay. what's the front? Look, look how cute that is. It doesn't matter. Yep. It doesn't matter which side is the front or the back. Uh -huh. All right, so look at that. Okay, and I'm not really worried about the way it's going to look right now. I'm going to take this now, All right? You see these right here? Okay, so this is actually in the front part. So for now, let's take this one ribbon here. We're gonna pull it one over the top, right? Going right through the center. Don't worry about the bow and it might not look right. Don't worry about that yet. We're gonna take the other one, pull it underneath that bottom part, right? So one over the top, one over the bottom. Cause I don't wanna use a whole lot of stuff to tie my ribbon together, right? Or tie my bow on. And I am going to go ahead and tie that on, right? Okay. And leave it like that. If you want to tie one more knot, you can. Let's tie one more knot. Y'all are getting a real close up here, right? Okay, so let me just fluff this up now just a little bit. 
little bit more fluffed up, fluffed up, Pop that thing up. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to, let's make another bow. We don't want, I can't do just one side. I've got to make a bow on both sides. And then we'll go back and neaten it up. And you know why she does that? Because it makes the basket look just. It, it doesn't finished. matter whether you see it from any direction. There is no front or back. From any direction, a person sees this basket, they should go, "Ooh, ah, ooh, right." <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just kind of hold it up and kind of. I'm gonna eyeball it, okay? Because we can do that, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do another bow real quick. So I hope this is helpful to y'all. Let me sit down a little bit here. Okay. Let's I'm gonna read thing. a few things while they're uh, while you do it. You've seen the first technique. Right. So I'm just kind of taking them through the next bow. I'm so glad y'all are here, though. The two people that are watching, right? You have 105 people in here. What? Awesome. Y'all have made, thank you for writing me and saying, Tracy, when are you going to do a basket? Tracy, when are you going to do a basket? <laughs> it's almost like that question. Are we there ah. yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> do you do baskets anymore? So this kind of got me now back to making baskets. So, Bill, what are they saying? Oh, there are a lot of people are... Y'all chatting just, amongst each yes, other? Yes, they're doing that kind of they're thing. They're so friendly with each other. Des I love it. Desiree Burton says, we're enjoying you so much. I love it. But Donna has to I go, bye, Donna. Too. Yummy. Okay, so. And then if this bothers you, we can cut that off. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so now let's take another chenille stem. Right, this is just a quick and dirty technique. There's, uh, there's so many ways to make bows. And um, you can look, I have actually a bow making playlist. So if you want to use that, even the bow on the tree back there uh, was done. Uh, there's, a, there's actually a video for the bow that's on that tree. So twist the bow, right? Not the chenille or pipe cleaner, whichever you choose to call it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and fluff. Let's fluff it out just a little bit. Fluff it out, fluff it out. This is why I love wired ribbon because it just, it's so easy, so easy with that wired ribbon. It's so forgiving and let's cut this down. Bill's, um, what do you call this again? Nadine Harris is the bass is looking awesome. The recipient will love it. Okay, so now we've got this, right? So right through the center again, we're going to attach it on the other side, right? So you see how that looks? That doesn't look good to me with it on the one side. It just needs looks to be... Looks naked. Kinda. Yeah, it does. So we can't have a, a, a naked basket, right? It's like a guy who only grows hair on the front half of his head and cuts off the side and back. Sounds Don't personal. look at me. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I just did mine upside Sounds down. I, personal. I grew the goatee, but cut off the top. Sounds personal. Okay, so let's tuck that in. Okay, so now here's what you do. You don't need to add like another one of these, right? You take what you already used and you pull it to the back underneath and under, right? On this side now. Underneath and under on this side. And then you're going to take your bow, right? Oh, let me, you know what? Let's tie it first. So you're going to tie this here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take one and tuck it under the bottom. And then the other one, you're going to pull it. You're going to pull it over the top. Right? So one at the bottom, one over the top. And then you're going to tie it. So you're using one long whatever this thing is that I can't recall what it is right now. <laughs> I'm having a senior moment. But they okay. know what you're talking about. All right. This thing, 
twirly ribbon or whatever you call it. <laughs> Spirally something. It's ribbon. that thing okay. over there. So now we got to get this guy on here, right? We got to get him on here because he's super duper cute. So let's see what he has. He has a little spot right there, right? Now we could have stopped right there. Yeah, you, you really could. And so we're going to just tie him right on here. Through his buffalo plaid scarf. What, babe? You, you actually got it right this time. In here. You got it right this time. So we're going to take this again now using the same ribbon, and we're going to tie him on. And I'm not, I don't care how this looks right now. It's wire ribbon, y'all. This is why I love to use wire ribbon. Look how adorable he looks. And this is from the Dollar Tree also. All right, so we're going to just tie him right on. He looks so cute with his little scarf on. Now, if I want, I can just tie this in a knot and then just forget about it, right? Or cut it off or, or, or put the little... Yep. Stream, okay, you know, so yeah. what, I, what I normally do is I take this and just pull it and make it... With the scissors. Make it spirally. Oh, hold on. Let me come right here. Do this. And spiral it a little bit, right? And now we can start to fluff up our bow and make it look like it's a finished basket. And we started at one o'clock, and just even with me explaining it to you, it took us about what? Uh, it was 146, it was? Right. but if you were just doing this yourself, it would probably, probably be 20 minutes. It about 20 minutes, yeah. Throw a bunch of these together. And now you have your cute bow. And you see how it looks like it's almost seamless, like it's just a bouquet bow something something, right? Look how adorable that looks. And you could stop there. Huh? However. I am stopping there. Let me stop. <laughs> So now you can take one of these, or, or also you can take a gift tag, right? So all those tags that we've made over the years. Want me to go get one? This is where you can take your gift tag and you can actually tie it onto here, right? You take one like of your the, tags and tie it on. Like that buffalo plaid one upstairs. Um, do I have that one upstairs? I haven't finished it yet. Okay. It doesn't have a to or from on it. Bill trying to take my stuff, y'all. Okay, so now you can take one of these, right, if you want. And what I've done before in the past, and this is if you want to add more stuff to it. Right? What you do. So let's you not. You can take yeah. these and you can stick these in the top, right? And y'all probably have seen me do this in some of my videos. Let me just stand up here so I can actually see what I'm doing. And you can stick the flowers down in the center of this and just give it a push. And it'll just go right in, right? This is great for like um, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day. And you can just have like a little bow bouquet type thing. Oh, that one went in really easy. Okay, let's put that one in. Okay, these are those Dollar Tree flowers I found yesterday. Okay, so look at that, y'all, right? Look how cute that looks. It doesn't take a whole lot to do these, right? I'll have these wrapped up very quickly, right? Just kind of showing y'all. I hope this was helpful. Katie says, now! Right. So look how adorable that looks. Let's give it a twirl so y'all can see. Hold up. You can really see that. This will look nice just sitting on a table somewhere or doing a raffle maybe. Maybe do a prize giveaway if you're having a little party at the house, right? And you notice and how show you them up here. Uh, all the labels so are facing. The top. Yeah. There we go. Right? So now, before you even get to see what's on the inside, you're like, oh my goodness, look how adorable that looks on the outside. Yep. So there it is. And for those of you that really they want to go to another level, you can do all kind of stuff. You could get those pearl streams. I, I forget what you call them. They come on the chain, have them on the inside, decorating, 
think of your color scheme and put more little things on there. You can, right. whatever your imagination can come up with. Well, here's one of the things you can do. Take an ornament, right? And now you can take that same streamer again. And you can dangle an ornament from it, right? So it make, look, looks kind of festive. Um, usually I'll have my little tool to help pull that through. See what we got here. I don't have my crafty tool, so. Right, so you can dangle stuff from it, you know? And, and you it's just also... all kind of stuff you can do with this. So I've done this where I put ornaments on it and just kind of hung it. You know, you can put a little decorative ornament on there. You get those, one of those other ones you can put in the middle. Too. Yep, you can do, I mean, there's so, so much you could do. You could do the other one over here, dangle another ornament from there. I mean, you can really get fancy with this thing. So let me see what y'all are saying here. Get it. Let's see what y'all are saying. Let's see. You could do this too, hypothetically. You could take something else and put it like dead in the center of here. So you have that uh, on that side. Oh, which thing? Oh, I'm just literally reading the comments. Sorry, no, something like You know, you have another. Or you can do anything you want, really. It, it's all up your imagination. Whatever it really you is. About. It really is. I mean, you could just about do whatever you feel like you want to do with this. You can get really creative with your baskets. The nice thing, it's such a unique gift. Um, it doesn't have to cost a whole lot. It really doesn't. So look at that bow. Before you even get to the basket, it's like, ooh, the bow. The bow. So y'all can go ahead. I will actually post where you can, uh, below in the description, where you can find um, the bow or how to make the bow. I'll put I'll put those in the description for you. Wow, so thanks for y'all for, for joining us. And so look at that. I got this one here to wrap up. This one here. So you have three gifts, right? Without spending a whole lot of money. So if you hadn't seen the beginning, just go ahead and um watch the rewatch, right? <laughs> Let's see. Let me see what y'all are saying here. Look, Casey Sunshine said, I would not want to open it. I wouldn't either. That is super cute. And it goes to my table. But this is not for me, y'all. It's not for me. Oh, thank you, Kathy, for asking for more likes on the video. Someone says, glad to see you making baskets. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're so welcome. Yeah, I've got to go ahead and decorate that wall over there. You see that empty wall right over there? I'm going to be hanging up your cards and stuff up there. All the cards that y'all have sent us, we'll be hanging them up. And we got some happy mail too. Hey, Cajun Sunshine, I miss you too. These would be great for last minute gifts. It does not take a whole, you follow that scheme. All I have on here, two pieces of tape, one piece of that stringy ribbon, right? The twirly ribbon, right? And then, that's it to tie up the bow. It doesn't take a whole lot to make a basket. Yep. Don't don't have to get so fancy, but it looks fancy, right? This little bear someone was asking, that's from Dollar Tree. So most of the items in these are from Dollar Tree. Right? In fact, I think all of them. Just that. letting someone know that you appreciate them. Gift baskets are such a thoughtful idea. And I've been making baskets for maybe about 20 years. About 20 years now. And I, it started because I wanted to make my mother something special with all the things she likes. So, but once you start making them, people are going to, hey, they're going to want you to make them all the time. Well, you will be the gift basket person at work and everywhere else. Which bag? Someone said, where do I get my bags? Well, someone asked about the quilt also. Which bags? Hmm. Where did you get your bags, Tracy? Um... Oh, you must, you might mean, oh, you said the baskets or the, ba the baskets are from Goodwill. The bags, you mean, maybe you mean this, this is the cellophane wrap from Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's the cellophane wrap. So, so what asked about the quilt also? The quilt is, the quilting Marine made that, my brother-in-law. 
made that for me. It's but y'all, look, I'm, I'm so, so for those of y'all that didn't know, I'm really addicted to this um, buffalo plaid, which Bill has been calling what? Houndstooth. I don't yeah, know why I call it that. Even the pillows, right? The pillows, y'all. I just can't help it. <laughs> I just can't help it. So I hope that was helpful to y'all. We just went and, and just said, you know what? We're going to do a gift basket, especially around the holidays. I do hope that y'all enjoy your holiday weekend, uh, whatever it is you're doing. It's not all about shopping and just driving yourself crazy to buy gifts for everyone. Remember the reason for the, for the season and why we celebrate. You know, just kind of take a moment to kind of reflect on life. We're heading into a new year. You know, we want to keep doing the things that we love. Take care of yourself. That's all I have to say. And we love y'all. Plain and simple, right? We absolutely love y'all. Yeah. Does the Quilty Marine make rag quilts? The Quilty Marine and his wife, who's my sister, are very, very busy people. They are working, and I hate that they're working so much. I absolutely miss them. I'm hoping to get to see them tomorrow. I'll definitely see them on Christmas because everyone's coming over here um, to celebrate Christmas with us. <laughs> Someone said, no, that's not Buffalo. That's the woodsman look. <laughs> <laughs> ah, y'all are funny. My my daughter said, "Mom, that's lumberjack material." <laughs> Everybody's, you know, everybody has this. <laughs> ah, y'all are funny. <laughs> you know, it's Brenda, how once you start liking something, everywhere you go, you see it. Yeah, you're out and everywhere you look. There's another one, buffalo. Actually, yep. I was in house too. House too. <laughs> but ah. it's buffalo. What is your holiday schedule for videos and lives? Whenever we can get to a camera. Yep. <laughs> oh, we don't know. We don't, we're going to be off schedule for a little bit. There may be some videos going up, but basically we're going to be off schedule. Kind of just. But they'll still be coming up now. Yeah, just kind of being with the family, you know, just taking a little bit of a break. Just kind of being in, in chill mode. This was a, a really challenging and uh, wonderful year, especially for us and our business. We just absolutely we're just so grateful um and y'all have supported us through the entire journey of starting our business and so mindless crafting by the way but once the year starts we're going to be off and running yeah Big so time. we're just going to probably take a break trying try to not try to be on a schedule right like yesterday me and bill went to dinner we just said you know let's just go to dinner it felt strange to be sitting down eating somewhere other than just Picking up a bite here and there because we're yes. always on the fly. Yeah, so our next live is going to actually be opening up Happy Mail. That'll be our next live. Yep. You know what? And I'm going to do one coming up. Or maybe I can do it uh, while I'm, when I open up the Happy Mail. I found something. The, those pens. You know what I'm talking about, Trace? Yeah, that's going to oh, be Oh, Bill wants one. to try out some markers that he found. He's super excited about it. I'm excited it, because a lot of a lot of times you see markers and they, they're so expensive when a person wants to get involved with uh that aspect of crafting it seems pro it's prohibited because of the price the markers i found them for like four dollars a whole set so we're i'm going to show we're going to open them up and test them out live and I'll, I'll reveal what they are at that time yeah so bill bill yeah. found some markers and he's so excited about it he, he has his little cubby in the craft room so he's real happy about it <laughs> So anyway, y'all, I hope this inspired you to make something wonderful. We uh, love you all. Like I said before, I can't say it enough how grateful we are for you and so happy to have you on this journey with us. Y'all take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.